Hello, Savage Landers. Hazardous Gaming here. Today, we're going to build the Infernal Sword. As you can see, you're going to need a gold sword, some soul remnants, two, 100 of them, Infernal Stone Shards, 6 of them, and some Searing Blood. You're going to need 6 of those, too. Let's get started. On the first island, what you're going to do is go over into the infernal shard rock here and you're gonna pound on it now I'm using silver hammers it takes a little while now if you don't have at least steel armor on you might have to back out heal up come back in what you want to do is collect enough to make at least one sword it's gonna be six you plan on making more, we're going to have to farm more. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Enough screaming. Alright, your next one, you're going to go to the second island. This is the farmland just inside, the first farm on the left. You're going to head up the hill. Now, you can only do this, I believe, at night time. What you're looking for is the ghost skeletons. I believe they only come out at night time. You just head up the hill and you're gonna come to the little town up here. By the way, if you've never been here, this kind of almost has every single building that can be built in the game. Fully built, let you kind of look at it and see what you want to build. Alright, so head down the stairs. What you're looking for is a little glowing ghosts or little glowing skeletons there's all the buildings different kind of buildings laying around here you can go in them look around oh there's one hanging up way up there let's see if we can get its attention there's another one what you want to go to do is you're going to farm this area until you get enough of the uh, solar regiments. As you can see, this one dropped 19. I want to get my arrow back. It also drops the summoning shard. Now, they're going to drop a summoning shard and. the soul regiment every single time now as you can see I've hit two of them I've already got 27 of them so you gotta farm up at least a hundred so it's not gonna take you very long once you do clear the area of all the skeletons they will respawn within a couple minutes just stick around if you want to make one one sword they're just like the skeletons on the first island the initial attack is going to be that leaping attack. Just dodge it. And give them a couple whacks. Always want to pick up my logs. All right, as you can see, within a few minutes, I've, I've collected quite a bit. So now I'm going to show you the silver and gold run. This is from the second island going to the third island. What you're going to do is fill up on your man or your stanima, drop your pole there if you needed a, a respawn area. Just head straight up the hill. I f have farmed this area day in and day out. The respawn spike cycles give or take about 12 hours. Now, up here on the left is going to be your first silver node. It's going to take about six hits. As you can see, I'm dual wielding the silver hammers. 
gonna go ahead and collect these while I'm at it. We're always gonna need silver and You can hear the grindles in the background. You always want to kind of keep an ear out for those because if they get too close to you, they can do some damage. And they usually run in a pack of two. Up here around the, the corner here, I set my first little home when I first got over here. I got this idea from The Rev Plays. He's a YouTuber that's done quite a few videos on Savage Lands. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, we're going to head up around the fire pit here. We're going to run into our first gold ore. On this particular run, you get between 10 gold ores and 15 silver. And as you can see, I'm running full silver armor. Like I said, I farm this area quite a bit. Also showing off the bags that I'm carrying. I've got the dire bear and the flesh wrapped. They're both 15 slot bags. Kind of helps out quite a bit. Go up here around the corner to the left. Oops, I missed it. There it is. Got another silver. Now I'm hearing a grindle in the background, so I'm going to turn my back and see if I can keep an eye out for it. I will tell you, dual welding hammers is not going to help out any. As you're going to see here at the next node I go to, I'm going to use one hammer and still only take six hits. All right, leave there, go up and hang a left. Up around the corner, you're going to find an iron node. If you still need iron, there's one there for you. Now, don't make the mistake and go to the island to the right up there. I did that the first night and uh, got met by about three grindles. I think I'm saying that correctly. What you want to do is head to the left of the uh, pond here and go straight to the mountain in front of you. Up here there's two more nodes. You've got a silver node and another gold node. Just head up, go to the left be a lore book on your right eternal guardians all right just continue heading up past the fire pit here and you're gonna find your silver node down below now I'm gonna use one hammer and watch one two three four five six so, I guess the best thing about dual welding is at least it evenly uh, diminishes your. Can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. So you don't have to repair as, as much on one particular one. Alright, down the hill is going to be your next gold. I'm going to farm this up. Because to repair the flame of the infernal sword, you're going to need a gold bar and some other ingredients. Alrighty, let's collect this up. Now, if you wanted to log out here or Run back to your base, smelt those, and start building you some silver armor. I'd probably go at least with the silver hammers first. That way you can mine a lot quicker. Alright, your next ingredient is your searing blood. The only place you can get these from are the fire doors. You'll find these on the third island. As soon as you leave the, the portal, hang a left. Go to the big field where I'm at right here. And this is where you find them. They fight just like the other Grindles, except hit a lot harder, especially if you're in anything less than steel armor. 
Now I will tell you, I had to farm quite a bit of these. Because not every time they're going to drop this searing blood. Now what I'm doing here is I'm in a, like a frozen riverbed. It's like an invisible barrier they can't cross. get a lot of these they can do some damage to you what you want to do is just keep strafing to the right get back in that area they can't touch you heal up go back in right, as you can see they don't always drop the searing blood I farmed it quite a bit all right, let's get the ingredients. Get the gold sword. Let's see what else I need to get. Infernal, infernal, infernal. There we go. Infernal sword. So I need a hundred of the soul rem remnants, six of the infernal shards, and six of the searing blood. Six. That's right. And a hundred. No, not one sixty one. No. One zero zero. There you go. Alright, let's make it. Boom. Alrighty, there you go. This also does warm you up a little bit too. Good luck.